I present to you your weapon. <laughs> Pintovein had spent a lot of time watching us make skits using fake swords. All the swords we use are fake. She saw us fighting each other and was like, okay, that's how it's done. But we didn't teach her, we didn't train her. We didn't expect it from her. If I asked her to drop her sword, she's dropping it in a second. Oh no, and you've been slain by the wolf. She dropped her stick, picked up the fake sword that I was holding, and ran away with it. Oh no! And she has upgraded her weaponry! At that moment, our lives changed forever. Excuse me, sir. Yeah? There's a lady here who wants to speak to the manager. What does she want? I don't know, ma'am. What do you want? We're out of treats. <laughs> Just became so fierce with it. Yeah. I think you've been neglecting someone. Oh. From that moment, she's conquered all the lands with her might. And she comes down with a strong paw on anyone who would defy her. Very much so, including the vacuum. Come on, you know it's not that bad. She must be stopped. And so we have this incredibly epic sword fight. We really play it up that she's fierce and that's not her character at all. She is a huge couch potato. When we do start playing, she can go for hours and hours. And she does not go lightly with her weapon. Oh no! Pinto, I'm sorry, but a great sadness has happened. Her sword, her brand new one, could not take her might. It was too weak to stand up against the might of Pinto Bean. We gave her old sword a nice farewell ceremony as a thank you and remembrance for all of the great service it had done. So we got the new sword. It's here, it's here, it's here. <gasps> Look! <gasps> it was almost as if nothing changed. <laughs> She's like, all shall fall before me. <laughs> we really try to squeeze her into every facet of our lives. What are we doing? She really is the queen of the household here, and she has to have a sword that shows her power. <laughs> Good girl.